Hi and welcome to Geeks for Me. Today we would be discussing the problem quick sort on doubly linked list. So in this problem, we are already given the implemented version of quick sort. We just need to complete the partition function. So if you are given four to nine, then it should be two, then four, and then nine, and it should be doubly linked. Okay, like this. So now, before moving forward, let us quickly go through the quick sort algorithm. Then we would talk about the partition function, and then we would use all those ideas and all those learnings to implement the partition function on the doubly linked list. So let us quickly go through the quick sort. So quick sort is nothing but a divide and conquer algorithm. Okay, where we are given a low and a high and what we do is we partition the array okay suppose we are given like this so what we do is we go in this array we do a partition function selection of elements in this partition function is absolutely our choice why because if you are using a nav algorithm then you can select either of the element if you are using a hoers algorithm then you need to move forward with the very first element if you are using the law muto partition function, then you need to select the last element. It entirely depends. So let us move forward with the last one only. So suppose we are selecting here five. So what we would do is we would keep five at its original place. Here five is already at its original place. So now what we would do is we would again use the quick sort algorithm on the remaining left hand side and on this side. So this means that the position pi is now done so we select an element we keep it at its correct position so it is kept at its correct position then the elements before it and the elements after it needs to be sorted so yes this is what we are doing so we are going from low to p minus 1 this was low and this was high so suppose this is the partition function this is the value of pi so what we do is we are now pass low to pi minus 1 that is this side and pi plus 1 to high see this side why because now pi is at its correct position so now this is how we implement the quick sort so the main thing here is the partition function it makes all the difference so now there are three ways to partition the array the first one is the nav algorithm the next one is the law muto algorithm third one is the hoers algorithm okay so now in this nav algorithm what we do is we take an auxiliary array we take an auxiliary array first we insert all the elements that are less than the partition element and we insert it in the auxiliary array then we insert the partition one element and then the remaining elements are now again kept so we are doing three iterations and that auxiliary array of big o of size Okay, this is what is done. So I I would be repeating the same thing in Hindi. क्या करते हैं ना पहले जो elements छोटे हैं उसको सारे auxiliary array में भरती है. फिर जो partition element उसको खुद को भर देना है. फिर जो elements बड़े हैं फिर उसको रख दिए. Simple सा है. So now moving on to the next one that is law muto. So this one is the second most efficient partitioning algorithm. Here we don't use an auxiliary array and we would learn about. It. Okay. And this is the Hoer's partition algorithm. Okay, so now let us first learn about law muto partition algorithm. Then we would talk about Hoer's partition algorithm. And we won't be going in deep with the Hoer's partition algorithm because we won't be using Hoer's partition algorithm here. Why? Because there is also a reason. I would tell you that. But let us first understand what is law muto partition algorithm. How is it working? So law muto partition algorithm it takes the very last element. Okay. And it starts with the low minus one. So, what is the meaning of low minus one? It entirely depends that the element less than i would have the elements less than the pivot, and elements greater than i and less than j would have the elements greater than or equal to the pivot. Okay, and then we start iterating on the j. Okay, if we start iterating on the j, and if j is less than the pivot, if j is less than the pivot, that means this element. Should be at this position, and J should now come here. This is what is happening. 
if this element is a low element that is less than the pivot then this element's correct position is at this position that is why we simply swap it with arr i plus 1 and j plus 1 in the next iteration j would automatically increase because of this for loop at the end at the end we just swap the ith plus 1 and high didn't understood it's all right it's all right now let us go to the dry run and then you would understand how this is working so we take the pivot element pivot element as the name suggests so we are given low is equals to so i would just quickly write it so low is equals to 0 and high is equals to 6 and array is this array given so now when we come down we would write that the pivot element is a of high that is a of 6 that is pivot element is the seventh element so now what we would do is we would initialize i is equals to low minus 1 so what we would do is we would have i is equals to what is low low is equals to 0 so i would be minus 1 now we would be having a for loop from low to high minus 1 that is from 0 till the value 5 so let us first quickly write it so this is for j is equals to 0 this is for j is equals to 1 this is for j is equals to 2 this is for j is equals to 3 and this is for j is equals to 4 and this is for j is equals to 5 why because we would be iterating till the value of high is less okay so high is 6 so we would iterate only till 5 so now let us see what is happening now we have left all the values now i is initially as minus 1 so what we would do is j is equals to 0 so when j is equals to 0 is a of j less than pi word that is 10 is less than 70 yes 10 is less than 70 so what we would do is we would first increment the value of i so this would minus 1 increment the value of i this would become 0 so now a of 0 with a of j j is 0 so a of 0 so no changes would be done okay so now in the next iteration a of 1 80 is less than 70 no 80 is not less than 70 so we would this if condition won't be true so we won't be doing anything next j is equals to 2 is 30 less than 70 yes 30 is less than 70 so what we would do is we need to swap the values but before swapping the values we would increment the value till 1 so now we would swap the values of a of 1 with the value of j that is a of 2 so now 1 with the value 2 so now this would become 30 and this would become 80 so i would just remove this two values okay and then we would go to the next value that is 3 now a of 3 is less than 70 no 90 is not less than 70 okay so we would simply ignore then j of 4 so 40 less than 70 yes 40 is less than 70 okay so now we need to swap it before swapping it we would increment the value now we need to swap a of 2 with a of 4 so now what is the value of a of 2 a of 2 is 80 a of 4 is 40 so now this would become 40 this would become 80 and this would become 40 okay now we go till the last iteration that is j of 5 so is 50 less than 70 yes 50 is less than 70 so what we would do is we would increment the count to 3 and then we would swap a of 3 with a of 5 a of 3 with a of 5 so now this would become 50 and this would become 90 at the end at the end i plus 1th value i plus 1th so at first we would increment the i here for simplicity see after this swapping is done this is i plus 1 that is a of a of 4 swaps with the value of high that is a of 6 so 4 with the value of 6 so this would become 70 this would become 80 so now if you remove this if you remove this you would find out 
that we all have the values in the order display. So see, all the values, 10, 30, 40, 50 is less than 70, 90, 80 is more than 70. So all the values that are more are on the right hand side, all the values that are less are on the left hand side. So this is how the Lomuto partition is working. So now we would be using the same code, okay, we would be using the same code to implement for doubly linked list. How we would do that? I would teach you that. But let's talk about why Hoover's partition algorithm can't be used even if it is more efficient than Lomuto partition algorithm. The most efficient one is the Nave, but it uses an auxiliary space. But between these two, Hoover's is more efficient, but we are not using that. Why? Because, see, Hoover's partition algorithm, you can read about it. And after you read about it, please come to this. And you would see that we have a pointer here and we have a pointer at low and high. And when they basically cross each other, we tell that yes, at this point, this needs to be stopped and we would return this position. But there is no indexing here. So we won't be able to know at what point they are intersecting or passing away. Okay. That is why we need to move forward with long mutual partition algorithm. Okay. So now let us move forward to the implementation. Directly moving forward to the implementation of this. Yes, no, no issues with that. I would teach you. So now here I have copy pasted the same code that I have told you. And this is for array and we need it for doubly linked list. So what I would do is I would keep changing each commenting each of the lines and I would tell you how to write them. Okay. So we need the pivot element. So what we would do is int x okay or let's take it as pivot only pivot is what the highest value so high dash data we have that so now the pivot element is done so now i is equals to lows low minus one what is low minus one the element before low okay the element before low here low is l and high is h so element before low so what we would do is we would say that node star i is equals to y because we need to take the whole node and we would say l dash previous. Low minus one, we can do that in the same way in the previous one. Okay. So hope this makes sense. So I would just keep it below it. Okay. So each line would be done. So now we need to have this for loop also edited. So int j is not going to work here. So instead of int j, we know need node star j, which would be equal to the value low. Here low is equal to l. So we just edited the thing. Okay. And then j is less than high. There is nothing known as high or low. Why? Because there is no indexing. So we can say that while j is not equal to high. Why? Because see, we are given 1, 2, 3, 4. This is low, this is high. So we are iterating from low to less than high. So we can simply have a condition that while this j value is not equal to this high value, we can have that. No? So we would simply have that while j is not equal to the value high. Okay. And high is simply h here. So we would edit it also. And then what we would do is instead of the same thing j plus plus, so we are just moving forward. To move forward to the next index, we do j plus plus. But to move forward in a linked list, what we do is j is equals to j dash next. And this is done. So now what we would do is we are taking out the value at this is what? The value at the jth position. And this is node. So what we would do is instead of this, J's data, J's data, if it is less than pi word, okay, J's data, if it is less than the pi word, less than equal to pi word, we need to increment the value of i. So now to increment the value of i, what we do is, instead of this i thing, we need to do, go to the next one, going to the next one is i of next. So what we can do is, 
i is equals to i of next but that might fall into an error why because the ith value can be null and the nulls next would give you an error so to be not in the position where you would encounter error what we would do is i is equals to equals to the null point if i is equals to equals to null point then we would simply say go to l but i is equals to l if it is not in the null point then we would say yes you can move forward i is equals to i is of next i is next and that is pretty straightforward okay then here in the swap we are swapping the values so here what we would do is we need the values to so just see how i would get the values okay so i would do and so we are passing the address of i's data we are passing the address of i's data and what we would do is we would need to swap with j so j is data we would also have that. and then we would remove this one also and in the same way we would do this also if i is we need to move forward the i and then we need because there is there is no one doing that so we need to first move forward with this so if suppose this was i plus plus if this was i plus plus then this would have been nothing but a of i and this would also have been a of i okay this is what we could have so i plus plus i plus plus is this thing so we would do this thing so now i plus plus is done so now we would comment this out so now this is same as i plus plus now we would again this do the same thing as we were doing okay here we would just change the value to h dot data okay so see here i is same here i of data is same just we need to do h of it and then we would return this i okay and we are done so now let us just compile and run and see if we can get a correct output for the sample test case or not and yes we are getting a correct output for the sample test case now let us try to submit this and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac now if you were till this end of this video and you liked it feel free to like the video and comment on the video to increase the reach of this video that's it for today thank you and have a nice day